Okay, well, uh, must be in a mood for doing videos today or something, because I'm thinking, I've actually been thinking for a while, I wanted to make a part two of my reviewing Ertl Authentics video. Actually, I was quite surprised, that's my most popular video on YouTube with almost 5,000 views. I thought I'd be be even get 500 views on that, let alone, let alone 100, so that's awesome. Let's keep that up, guys. I'll put a link to that video if you have not seen it yet. I'll put a video, a link for this video and that video and vice versa and whatnot and watch it. So I got a couple more Earl Authentic tractors here and I guess I'll show you guys those. I've wanted to make a part two of this video for quite a while now. Now I have not heard what's coming out next for the John Deere or Case lineups yet, but I, things are getting kind of one sided here. There's almost twice as many Case Authentics as there is John Deere, which I guess that's Earl for you, but uh picked up the latest ones in the series. I still do not have a 7088 case com. I just haven't found one for a price I like just yet. But anyway, let's get on with our review here and uh, we'll see you in a second. Okay, so first up what we'll do, we'll do the same as the last video. We'll do the John Deere stuff first. This is the uh, 4840. I can zoom in. I'm actually using my Canon camera so that'll kind of show the details a little better. See, so you got some detailed painting on the filters there. This is a 4840 in case I haven't mentioned it. 4840s come out after the 4450s. Now there was not, there was not, and I don't believe there is, a chase unit for these like there was a 4450s. But it's got a uh, really nice set of back tires on it. Steerable front axle. Front end's got the actual cast individual weights. Other side of the tractor there. Zoom in on the engine. Nice set of steps. Let's see if I can get the cab detail for you. I don't really have the greatest lighting right now. And on the back, we got a nice three point hitch setup. A mirror, mirror on the back of the cab there. Don't mind the noise in the background. That's my furnace coming on. It's pretty cold up here today. So that's a little 4840 John Deere. Now, like I said before, I don't know what what the next addition to the Erta lineup is, but when it comes out, we'll be sure to add it. So, uh, we'll check you in a minute with the Case International. Okay, so this is the Case International 7250. This is number 7 in the Case International lineup here. I guess I'll start with the good stuff. The hood does open on this. The cab door opens, but I don't have a finger, any fingernails to open it up. The front end does steer, limitly, but it does steer. Uh, it's got duals on the back. Nicely detailed uh, cab interior. It's a nice little machine. It's got a three-point hitch on the back. It's the other side of the tractor there. front end. I've seen a lot of guys are doing details on these because one of the complaints I read online is that the front tire uh, tread pattern doesn't match in the back which you know if it matches some people I guess. I think guys were replacing with the tires off say a uh, 95 John Deere combine I believe it was. But I haven't I haven't done the modification myself yet but maybe one day if it decides it wants to drive me crazy. But anyway, that's uh, part two of my review in the Earl Authentics video. I know it's maybe a bit overdue, but uh, get to eventually. If any of you guys are following my channel, you know, I just did a big renovation on my house and whatnot. But uh, yeah, anyway, stay tuned for some more uh, tire reviews. I got a video coming. I had a video request online for a how to detail toy tractors, which I don't know if. Not sure how I'm gonna do it just yet. I might just start with the basic stuff, so you know what to, what kind of tools you should get and whatnot. You know, you don't really need anything too advanced, but uh, that's another video. So anyway, yeah, if you guys like the videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.